Hey you guys and welcome to this reading. I literally don't even know who I'm reading for right now so I guess I'm just gonna do a coll collective reading. Um, yeah let's just do a collective reading and then I'll like pick out what signs from one of my decks at the end. Um, and yeah I just feel kind of intuitive right now. Um, and I'm just gonna see what the vibes are. I hope you guys are doing well. Probably already have an idea about what this reading is gonna be about by the title. <laughs> I just kind of came on here really quickly. Um, so let's see. I'll put a timestamp in the description if I'm taking too long to shuffle. If you just want to skip to the reading. All right, what's going on with the collective? So we have number 34, and it says my tentacled friend. Interesting. So you guys could be connecting with nature and feeling more connected to nature than like even real life people. Very connected to water in particular, being by the water. Um, some of you guys may live near a beach and you really need to take stock in that because like everyone doesn't live near a beach. I'm jealous. I'm seeing all these butterflies. Look at this beautiful. We have the number seven. It says Halle Sun, but that's giving me like hallucination vibes. Um, we have number 35, Microcosm Sea Monsters. We have mermaid with a golden dragon. I just heard some of you guys are very like talented, have a hidden talent, but it's kind of maybe unorthodox or it's kind of like bringing two parts of your personality together that would kind of like create this, um, I don't know, idea or creates this business that you're supposed to be doing we have auto mermaid and we have water elements on the back of the deck you could be a scorpio uh pisces cancer you could have those uh, water signs in your chart here i feel like you could have uh, people giving you the evil eye and that's making you feel out of your body that's making you feel less confident in your own um, abilities and I feel like you're really connecting with you guys are connecting with something that's not like an actual person I don't know what type of a uh, hobby that you have but I feel like some like everything is connected here whatever you're like spending your time with I don't know if it's like an animal that you're spending your time with here um, with this my tentacled friend or if you're like go to like the park every day or something but there's something about that that's going to like lead you to some type of success I feel we have grief and gossip on the back of the deck you see some people are gossiping about you and it's causing you to really not feel good about yourself it's causing you to kind of i feel like be in this daydreaming type of energy we have rejection that came out understand that rejection is god's protection if um for some reason that you are being um redirected or something kind of um something kind of didn't work out understand that it's truly for your best for your highest good we have insecurity here and self-worth you're feeling very insecure you need to need to have more faith in yourself and your abilities and your skills because i feel like this is someone here who is very talented and has like a particular like there's one thing in particular that's going to be like a freaking multi-million dollar business for you um and then you can like hand that off to like either your family or just be very well off by selling that one day we have forgiveness discovery and creation do you see i feel like there's something that you need to heal maybe um i don't know if this is someone else that you need to um did i say someone you need to heal i meant this is something you need to heal 
I don't know if um, something within yourself that you're needing to heal that has to do with forgiveness. You're needing to possibly forgive something that has happened. Maybe even forgive yourself for just like being so mean to yourself. And we also have self-worth here. I feel like you're needing to take stock in your own value, find your own self-worth. I feel like you're having a lot of self-discovery here. You're learning a lot about your root who you are as an individual, how um, your your um, adolescence has shaped you to who you are today. But there's also a lot of third eye energy, a lot of um, psychic energy. And I was picking up on that already. I said I was feeling very intuitive. And um, we have this um, crown chakra energy. So there's this essence of you really going through all the feelings, going through this deep transformation, I feel like, into really self-realization. And we have trickery on the back of the deck as well. I feel like there's an attack on you and your in your heart chakra and just you as an individual because I feel like you are someone who's very divine. You're a light worker, you're a star seed, you are someone who, you know, is a child of God. You're 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 a pure soul. And I feel like you could be getting a lot of attacks, you know, from the other side, from the dark side, from the devil energy, okay? So be careful uh, for the people that are around you. If you can get some type of protection, um, I believe the color yellow is for protection, like yellow candles, if you could wear yellow. Um, I know I have like an evil eye bracelet, an anklet. Um, so all of that I feel like is really important to make sure your aura is protected and your energy is clean. We have the Hermit coming out, Virgo energy, and we have the, um, Page of, uh, Pentacles coming out. Um, we have Death in Reverse. So there's this energy of you, you know, really, I feel like you know a lot. I feel like I'm talking to someone who's very wise and very smart, but you don't want to stay in this energy forever. I feel like you're needing to pivot and really move forward and really, you know, like grow out of this um, old um, repetitive, old habits, old cycle that you've been in. Like time's up for, you know, all the trickery times up for all the like sadness and negativity and you know it's really time for you to step into your power to show the world who the fuck you are to really live in your truth in your authenticity to live as your highest self um i do see good fortune coming but you are needing to step into this energy of transformation and kind of surrendering to the divine but there's a there's a lot to focus on your self-worth the way that you're going to be able to grow and elevate is by realizing your self-worth by really you know taking time for yourself but learning from this really putting the right effort um behind what you know we have the devil i told you it is hard because this devil energy is very strong but guess what the devil works hard but you work harder the light god works harder this energy is literally so ugly and gross like it's repulsive and it's overbearing and look at this hermit so just serene so just minding his own business like he could be high as fuck just chilling like he needs that little staff because he's like a little drunk he needs to just he's just like minding his own business he's focused on this light he's focused on the light okay no i'm just, I'm just kidding but um <laughs> Um, he is focused on this light though, and he is very much minding his own business with this hermit mode energy. This is like blocking other people off and like, literally, I already tweeted this, minding, the theme of the week is minding your own business. I'm going to link my Twitter down below. You guys go follow me. We have the queen of cups coming out. That's following your heart and like knowing that love is the strongest force in the universe the most powerful force in the universe the devil doesn't stand a chance next to all of this good <laughs> next to all of this good energy i was gonna say next to all of this good dick energy but no no look at that the ace of pentacles you guys this is the brand new money 
this is for sure without a doubt new money okay i'm gonna tell you guys there's new motherfucking money coming in and this is like this is more than just money coming in this is like something that you can really this is like an idea and a mindset that you can really nurture and grow and like you're you're strong in this you're strong in this foundation here. This is like, um, say maybe like a lump sum of money that you get, that you invest, um, that you get quick uh, return on, um, things like that. This is a, a, a source of income that you can really um, capitalize on, that you can really um, be proud about. I, this is very, very good news. I feel like this is something that you've manifested as well. I'm seeing very luxur luxurious items, um, but most importantly, I'm seeing someone with like a peace of mind. It's like someone who is just minding their own business. They attract their own money, and they're not worried about the devil energy around them because that doesn't matter. Um, again, there's this energy of the death card is in reverse, so I feel like you are resisting, transforming. The way that you get this what you've been what you've been manifesting a brand new beginning that's going to be so fruitful that's going to be so um 11 11 it, it's what you created is everything that that you're passionate about it's everything that you want new money new you know love a new sense of self new peace of mind new solace new dick new bed sheets new energy just like oh yes 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 i really love the ace of pentacles um and look i'm seeing like little suns here beaming out like such good news happiness happy outcomes and there's even like peacock feathers on here peacock is luxury the rose it's mm, even love coming in like it's gonna smell so good you're gonna be looking so good we have instinct you're needing to really um tap into your intuition at this time because i know it's very heightened at this time you are psychic everyone is psychic you're really needing to you know flow with that divine feminine energy okay and i'm gonna end this reading with an oracle card from the moon deck oh i'll get some i'll get some uh, astrology cards as well to confirm which signs this reading is for okay the signs that i have on the board virgo capricorn scorpio okay cancer pisces Okay, heavy Scorpio right now. And, um, yeah. Okay, wait, let's do the Oracle first. Oracle. We have your hard work is paying off so that's um capricorn energy again and we have you're very close to achieving your goal yes claim this reading i'm telling you your manifestations are coming in your hard work is paying off baby let's go what signs is this reading for what signs sun moon and rising is this reading for give me confirmation on what signs this reading is for please we have square that's not a sign <laughs> but it says a challenging situation and a mountain to climb we have house six that's not a sign but it says establishing a foundation health daily life and practical details yes that is what house six is about and this is telling me that you know it's been a struggle to establish a foundation for yourself to establish healthy boundaries to establish a healthy life and i feel that and to because this devil energy is so fucking ugly and when we're exposed to it it can be really hard to to be in the light it can be really hard to get away from that but that's what we're doing because we're being disciplined with ourselves. we're being focused on our goals 
And we're moving forward. With this Mars energy, we're moving forward and defending ourselves and what we want. And we have house one, individuality, self-image and approach to life. You're really changing again. You're really realizing a lot about yourself. Oh my gosh, we have Capricorn energy on the back of the deck. Heavy, 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 heavy Capricorn energy here. You could be a Capricorn sun, moon, or rising. Okay, if this is your energy here as well um, with the devil card, like... You could be needing to again. You're you're if you're a Capricorn, you're too fixated on a certain. Mm, there's still energy around you that is you need you're needing to move away from. Okay, um, it's like you're you're too fixated on something that's not healthy for you. Could be a relationship for you, um, but this is definitely. I feel like you're re. Um, you're revamping yourself and your mind and it's so beautiful because when our minds change when we have control of our thoughts our reality changes and i feel like that's what's really happening here for you and we have venus energy which is ruled by taurus and libra so we have all the earth signs here right yeah and um yeah i was gonna say libra before because we have the autumn mermaid um which is like virgo libra um and then we have the moon the moon is ruled by cancer so again i already said the water elements are here okay so we have cancer there all right you guys i love you and i hope this reading resonated with you um please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next reading bye